your influence as a collector been an impression? I've been concerned how they could become collectors. And many of them have begun to amass art from friends and colleagues and are beginning now to be collected. And so that has made a difference. What are your thoughts or feelings about the antebellum art? Do you own any of that? Some collectors who, who feel like um, there's an obligation to reclaim art pieces. Um, I don't, I'm not anti that. Mm -hmm. But I'm not pro that either. Right. So I don't think that there is an obligation to have to go out and search for and look for it. Mm -hmm. If you come across it, it becomes available and you have the opportunity to get it. I think then you may want to avail yourself of it. Mm -hmm. One of my thoughts in that regard is that it would be nice if some of that is made available by a state so that it gets into the hands of a collector. Mm -hmm. and to collector into the hands of institution. What piece of artwork has challenged you the most that you've purchased? Oh, I've had Woman Grinding Pepper, mm -hmm. who was by Kofi, Herman Kofi Bailey, studied at the University of Alabama mm -hmm. on the Hayward Ubris Tutelage. And uh, was one of the top three draftsmen in the country, mm -hmm. in my opinion, and I've collected. Mm -hmm. Kofi Baylor, Charles White, and Amos Ashanti Johnson. I put those three in the same bag and shake them up. And uh, that's where some of the challenge would be. And looking at the technique mm -hmm. they use, and looking at the product they produce, mm -hmm and seeing what has happened to it. And then to see its appeal to others. So all of that has been part of that challenge. I can remember being on the board at the high of the committee that would working with the curator to pick art. And it was interesting to do when I had said at the high once, when I stood up in a meeting during Black History Month, mm -hmm. when they used to always bring somebody in to speak, mm -hmm. have black to start coming to the museum. Mm -hmm. But they'd always get some black out of the north. Mm -hmm thinking they probably would bring more to the table to the mm -hmm. than the Southern Black were. Mm -hmm. As a result of that, uh, I said that I thought we would never make much progress, I hadn't made any, until we get some Black on the board of directors. I'm going to mention a few artists' names and you give me one word for a reaction, if you don't mind. Um, Ratcliffe Bailey. I said he should have gone to school and done some graduate work after he came out of undergraduate here at the Dana College of Art. Saw a piece of his work at a show. There was a group show at Agnes Scott. Mm -hmm. Made arrangements to go out and visit him in his studio, which was out at Chester Park at that time. Mm -hmm. 
But I have to admire his having hung in there and survived. And he's still in that and been able to maintain a certain level of pricing for his work. I had a piece that one of the gallery owners in this town had brought to the attention of the curator at the museum. It was a large black hero baby piece. And some of my colleagues who've been on the board for a long time were there. And they were mumbling and humbling and saying, I don't think it's museum quality. And uh, so we sat down and we voted. The chairman of the committee put it to a vote. And it was a tie. And as a result of that, I saw the impact that my uh, voting and serving on that committee would make or that of any person of color serving on that. For how long? Mahamu is the big shit. <laughs> Performance art. <laughs> it is mm -hmm. fine. I like his style because I think it sort of fits a young generation. I was like, last but not least, she's a pretty bright. Ah, uh, she's a pretty bright. <laughs> she's a pretty bright. I think in what may be a professional area that's dominated by males have been able to muscle their way in and make the most of it. What do, you, what do you want people to learn? I want them to learn that there is an opportunity for one's talents to be exhibited and uh, as they begin to develop and grow and study and produce. And as a result of that, to come to your home. I'm just we have been happy to have you so in the lucky. home. <laughs> well, the home is blessed by the two of you. Thank you so much. And uh, I wish you good luck with the publication. Thank you so much. I'm excited about it. These are the type of interviews I want to do and I think they're needed. Well, I think I think it's, it's, it's going to add to the bar and put out there. So you can get that going and spread it. Yes. It'll be one